I think as either a PhD student or an MD-PhD student, the first thing you really do have to look at is, is the institution I'm looking at a good match for me in terms of my research interest? So the thing that gave the edge to Mount Sinai for me was really the research environment. There are so many endless opportunities for development, endless opportunities for learning new techniques, learning new skills, and becoming the best scientist that you can be. We're in a new era of a very exciting time in neuroscience, where we are today training tomorrow's leaders in the field who will make the discoveries that will conquer brain diseases. Neuroscience graduate students are looking for a place where they can do cutting-edge research. They're also looking for a place that will provide the first important stepping stone for the future of their careers. Mount Sinai offers a nurturing and supportive environment where the student feels not so much as a student but more of an apprentice a place where they can learn how to do research and how to prepare themselves for a 40 or 50 year long career. Our lab doesn't shy away from taking risks. Our lab doesn't shy away from looking at novel therapeutics or using our information alongside industry to try and develop new drugs. That's a part of what we do day in, day out. My work is really exciting to me because it's really a new way of looking at autism and kind of how this disorder might be coming about. I study Parkinson's disease, which affects people typically later on in life. And my research focuses on changes that happen in, in neural circuits at early ages. The essence of my research is trying to understand the root causes of depression in terms of gene expression. I decided that I would flourish in a smaller lab with a more close-knit community immediately surrounding me. The main goal of graduate school is we are supposed to create an environment in which students learn how to think, how to develop a question that is answerable by a series of techniques. And that sounds really trivial, but in fact it's really difficult because you have to be able to come up with questions that no matter what the answer is, you're moving the field forward. When you ask big enough questions like, can we cure Parkinson's, you may never find that answer. But when you ask targeted questions like, what is happening you know, in this disease at these early ages, you can find answers there. I was surprised by how quickly research in the laboratory at Mount Sinai can go into a clinical space. You get to interact with these high-level faculty and they engage you on your research and what you're doing and your career goals, and that's a normal occurrence here. At Mount Sinai, you're working right with the clinicians. If we identify a promising drug target, clinicians take this drug target and apply it to the human population to see if it'll work. The questions that we can address in science are bigger than they've ever been before, but the ways to answer them are also bigger and broader. I want the people in my lab to always feel that no matter what the answer is, that they're in an environment where they can say it, to hold whatever opinion they want about data, to tackle big problems, and at least can answer a piece of it, and to take with it uh, the confidence that you can get from becoming the expert in a field. One of the most important impacts that we will make at the Friedman Brain Institute at Mount Sinai is training tomorrow's scientists. We're looking for students who ask the big questions, who don't shy away from trying to tackle the major challenges of our time and see themselves as making the great discoveries that our society needs to conquer brain diseases. I think as a scientist, you have to play the long game. You have to realize that your contributions are never going to be the complete picture. I love my research. I love being able to study the things that I study. The potential to make an impact on these diseases and make an impact in terms of understanding the brain, which has been described as the next frontier, is so exciting and amazing and really unbelievable, and I'm, I'm privileged to get to do that.